That's a hard fought first period team foot size. And get ready to go. Period two action from the Gordon Rink at the Matthews Hockey Center on the campus of St. Paul School in Concord, New Hampshire. With a 0 0 tie between the St. Paul School Pelicans and the Toon Rams from just a bit south down the road. Just like that here, we're underway. Shot from John Sacklin on the near side. This is wide. Tilton picking up the puck on the stick of Weitzman. He carries in. Send it hard over there. Or fed it off there by Michaud. Puck will come free. And away will come Sacklin again. John Sacklin curling on the left side. Tried to center the puck. He was blocked aside there off the stick of Lockhart. He'll battle away forward in the corner instead. Sacklad digging it free in the deep. Cox out in front. Puck is there. Taken away on the stick of Ida. He moves it up to the right side. Here comes Ty Lee. Um, Seoul, South Korea, as I said earlier. Uh, took that tripping penalty mid to late in the first period that led to the St. Paul's power play. Both these teams have had power plays. If it's a 0 0 game, they must be 0 for 0. Uh, That'd be the rationale behind that. Uh, but dangerously in front of the St. Paul's bench. Uh, they're changing. Nobody touched it. So referees are unable to make a call. It's cycled right back in. Uh, Dahlquist. Uh, he'll start the rush out for the Rams. On behind. Giving it over on the left side for Gagnon. He got into some trouble. Dahlquist had it taken away. Cycled back out in front. Came back to... Looked like Deegan... Who had it, lost it, got it again to the line for half. He tees up a shot coming through, and a save is made by Sean Keegan's. Ty Green looking for the puck in deep for the red. Green looking, still trying to get away from his man. Puts it back to the line. Hep across, near side. McElhaney, he'll just go down low for Deegan. Deegan being worked over there by Dahlquist. Down low. Puck will come free. Here's a shot coming, and a great block is made. Off of Ty Green, another shot comes through, and another save is made by Keegan's. That was a huge block. Off the Ty Green shot, he had space in a dangerous area. I'll tell you that. Uh, I'm not sure who caught the block, but or who who made the block? The Ram. Who did was lying on the ice and was unable to catch his number. That was that's a big block, and he got a big reaction out of the Tilton bench. We'll see how that momentum may carry forward. This is Pangra. He swung and missed on his first opportunity to pass. Now we'll tip it over there. Bouchard will bring it on in. Touched aside by Andy Barron. And away will come Hubert Bork up the right side. Just missed the intended target, which was Garth McLaughlin. The arm is up, and the whistle is blown. That means it's a nice thing. And this one will come back. 15.31 to go in period two. I'll tell you what should be interesting as the game goes on. The legs of the Tilton Rams. And through that first period, you know, the Rams controlled the... I thought they controlled the earlier parts, and then St. Paul's... Work themselves back into it, and here's a shot off a face-off blocked. And there again, and Barron makes two saves. We'll hold that thought for a second as Simpson comes away on the left side, takes a look around, and chip one towards the goal after taking a hit from Pagre. Digging away on the rebound in the corner is Garth McLaughlin. One able to walk out in front with it. Simpson now looking for the puck. This is Peck down low, maneuvers the body on the ice, lost the puck, left the puck behind him. Nearly got hauled down there. Peck finding the open man in the corner. There was McLaughlin. McLaughlin reverses it. No one there. Panger trans to get it up. And the Rams will do so. Cycled back here by Menez. Under some duress is Bork. He spun away. And as a man loose to center ice, it was Deegan. Or rather, sorry, that was Demers. He was just unable to get past the lone defender staying back. Sacklad got taken down along the boards. That's Simpson. It'll come free to the face-off circle. Cates will lift it up to center. And now here come the Rams. Unable to get a hold of that puck with Cam Ryan. It'll be just chucked in by Tilton. When you get a stoppage, I'll go back to the, the legs. <laughs> Sorry, but it's been a good pace for the first period. We didn't have two too many stoppages. It looks to be the same here in the second. 
He shows back on this puck. Uh, hammered up the right side by Menez. Got it out to center, but missed it. Sacklad there on the far side. Uh, and again cleared. And Sacklad again just couldn't get a stick on it. It'll be cycled back by Greenberg. Get up the left side and in. Menez, uh, Omisho rather, he, he faked. Hammer get around and went up the near side boards or far side boards instead. This puck's going to go up and off the glass and we're going to stop it right now. Uh, but uh, back to my point. Uh, Tilton did play last night. They beat Proctor 3 to 2 on home ice. But that's exactly my point. They really controlled the first part of the first period. But St. Paul's. Uh, Fresh legs, they haven't played since Monday, and they got back in the game, so we'll kind of see how last night's game wears on Tilton. It wasn't a six nothing blowout, that's for sure, so they couldn't kind of skate away to victory at the end of the game. Those two goals by Proctor did come in the third period, and the shot comes bouncing through. Right there on the doorstep for the rebound was Ty Green, and he couldn't pick it up. Tilton will chip it in. Uh, on in first in the corner is Brayden Haley. He'll touch it in the corner there. Uh, Clemenson picks up the puck for St. Paul's. It'll get it out. Uh, on the near side. This is Gagden. He'll rattle one in. Uh, the other three on the ice right now is Hep. He'll pick it up. He goes down, though. He might have lost an edge there. One timer is pulled right on. And Andy Barron makes the save and jumps on the rebound. Uh, John Piggott uh, with the slap shot from the near side face-off circle. Puck just kind of found him off a pass and he turned and swung one straight to the net. You can say it was made there by Barron. On his toes here to begin the second period. St. Paul's right back on it in the offensive zone. Since it will wipe out the icing and play the puck ahead. Riley Drew had a touch at the line. It'll come in back of the goal again. Peck center across on the stick of McLaughlin. McLaughlin here side. Drew back for McLaughlin again. He'll circle it back in. Peck trying to come through with this puck along the near side half boards. Peck and then McLaughlin again. St. Paul's getting set up here. No, they're not on the power play, but it's centered for Hissinson. This can pick it up. Back on the stick of Peck. And he turned it over, though. And away comes Moran. He moved it across. Waring comes in, but Moran uh, is off sides. That's the cause of the whistle here. Moran just a bit too jumpy there on that play. Looked like it could be a good two-on-two -two rush for the Rams encounter. Uh, linesman says no. Uh, that, that rush was coming off a good sequence there with the line of Simpson, Peck, and McLaughlin as Barron snatches that one out of the air at the side of the goal and makes a save. Demers versus Cam Ryan on the face-off right now. To Sederman, and Ryan won it. Back to the line, here comes a slap shot. The rebound was there, and it's just a rebound is still loose. Barron diving on it. A little bit of pushing and shoving after the whistle there. But a whistle nonetheless, and the puck stays out. You can see that slap shot coming. Jacob Ryder got some space to load one up. The junior from Yorba Linda, California. And went right on. Barron was unable to control the rebound and it was loose there for 10 to 20 seconds, maybe. Uh, my estimations are never correct. <laughs> Long time viewers know that, that I'm terrible at estimating things. So. Demers chips his puck into the offensive zone and chases but Up there also is Sacklad. He hammered his man to the boards. And the puck will come free. Spinning one is Orn. Loose at the top of the crease and it goes to the corner instead. Cam Ryan will go away. Again, finishing his check there was Peck as Tilton moves it across. They got a chance here up the left side. Shot comes through. They score! And Cam Ryan's 
got another one. He barrels into the referee after the play. Top shelf goal for Cam Ryan. Ryan Peck chose to take the hit or finish the check. The puck got out to neutral territory. Peck was stuck in behind and Ryan just accelerated up the left side. Went hard to the net. He didn't have the option for a pass, but rather shot it high. Top shelf over Andy Barron, as I mentioned. Uh, and Tilton has the first goal of the game. It's one to nothing. If you're St. Paul's here, you can't deviate from your game plan either. Although Tilton comes right back in. The drop pass, late trailer shot. Blocked aside by Reed Clemenson. Deegan with a chance to clear the zone. Now following up on the play is Bork. Jumping up into the rush. That's Deegan on the far side. Big cast one towards the goal. Tipped up and into the glove of Keegan's. But if you're St. Paul's, you can't lose sight of your game plan, as I said. Can't hang your head. Either this was an even hockey game, I would say, through two periods, or through one and a half, and that was a giveaway at center. Well, that was the end of the game was Ty Lee after the puck found his stick. Chipped up on the far side, Deegan had it bounced away from him. Following up on the play again is Bork. Bork pushes one up and ahead after taking a hit. Gabriel, Gabriel Gagnon under some pressure from Green back there. He's forced to throw it for Lockhart, who missed it. That pad also doesn't connect the hitting. Physicality is like he picking up here in the second period with 10-10 on the clock. Puck knocked out of the air there by Breck Lockhart. Back in comes St. Paul's. They were changing, though. In addition, Garth Gotham was stayed in the zone, but St. Paul's was also changing. So offside is the call. Face off will come in front of the St. Paul's bench. And it's clean win by the St. Paul's centerman, Peck. Uh, Moved on around and in there. Jordan Michaud back on it first for Chilton is Greenberg. He got in a battle in the corner. Buck will come through up the near side, but not out. In low is McLaughlin now. Garth McLaughlin. Simpson now. He's got space. High is the shot off the glass. Simpson's right back up on the puck. He's all over the ice. Center to the cross. And McLaughlin was wide open. He had to go up and skate. And now McLaughlin takes his man down on the corner. Simpson's there with him. This line has been going tonight uh, for St. Paul's. Simpson finishing another check as he keeps the puck in. He goes down, though. And the puck is kept in. Tilton Bench calling for a penalty. Not coming. Circling back is Jordan Michaud. Around the wagons before losing it. Right in front to the goal. And a poke check by Andy Barron there. Oh my, what a fortuitous opportunity for John Pagany. He just couldn't bury it. Uh, and now, face in the side again, far side pass, and it skipped over the stick of Brennan Haley. And Brayton Haley, my bad, in the net. A little bit of a collision in the paint. I wasn't sure what happened there. I was watching the puck. But uh, that comes off as morning, so we'll get a whistle. All that begins. After Jordan Michaud cycling around his net, uh, taking his time and an aggressive forecheck uh, by John Pickett. I trust I'm saying that correctly. Uh, had that puck come right to, oh man, Andy Barron. With the poke check, uh, the puck stayed free and everything and the Ensuing opportunities came as well, and might have some more clock problems going on here. Is there, gonna be, there is a penalty on the play. Oh, there's a penalty on the play. Jack Hemp is in the box with his head bowed on his stick. Uh, getting a little bit of a tap from the injured captain, Dan Rubin, in the box. Uh, Rubin 
Got injured in practice this week, but Tilton will go to the power play. Didn't catch the penalty. But they go to their second over. Man advantage over one. And they have the puck on the far side. Lee. Down low, the pass goes back for Lee again. He goes high slot. Here comes a shot, and it's blocked aside. Brett Lockhart uh, with the shot. Uh, and he will go off for a change after getting the opportunity to be blocked up and off the mesh. Uh, Green versus Gerard Moretta. On the face off, but it's one in the corner. That's where the teams will do battle now. Puck will come free. Chance to get it down the ice uh, is seized by Teddy McElhaney. He hauls one actually right on goal there. Keegan will touch it aside. And Ida will set this one up. Comes up to the blue line before giving up the right side. Piggott will come in. He created this penalty, we can say. And he's got the puck now. Here's Piggott behind the goal. Near side, just it to the line. Ida, just it. Ida, across. Here comes a pass to the middle. Instead, he just goes back. Moretta looking around for some options. Center one of the slot. Backhand right on there by just it does not go. Instead, it's in the corner for Piggott. Behind the net. And now on the near side boards. Or rather, none of the boards at all. Jostet took a crunching in behind. Moretta's parked out in front. This is Piggott. <laughs> and I think Andy Barron knocked that off. <laughs> he did. Not sure if that's on purpose or not. The referees don't seem to think so. He just was so emphatic in getting the near side post. He knocked it off. Did disturb the play. Effectively, though, now there's half a minute left to go in the power play. Weitzman across the ice for Justin, a little fluttering pass behind the net. Piggott, Piggott, Gerard Moretta, Moretta waiting, shooting, save is made. Puck will come to line where it's slammed away by Eric Simpson, and he'll get the chance for a shape. Keegan's gonna go up the ice with it, and it could have been a three on O there. Instead, it's just a chance. And Moretta popped up in the side of the goal, sprawling as Barron he reaches up and makes the grab. Whistle blows. What an odd sequence of events right there. The St. Paul's penalty killing. Core decided they were going to go off for a change uh, as the power play is now over for Tilton. Creating nearly a three on O, but Tilton coming off the bench, the two players would have been off sides. So instead, it was just Shostin going it alone. And melee ensued after his shots. Uh, still 1 0 Rams. Uh, here, 6.18 to go in period two. Uh, quite a good hockey game so far, I would say, as Orm gets taken to the wall hard. Uh, after every hit, uh, you hear the cheers from the bench. Uh, every bump creates momentum, and it's kicked up to center by Damares. Tracking on this puck is Orm, he lost an edge. Uh, might got a stick in there and he skates. Uh, finishing his check into Damares again. Now he's trying to pick up the puck. Uh, could not in that face-off circle. Cage turned it over. Here's Demers waiting, spinning one back in front. And it just goes wide here on the near side. Buck goes to the corner. Sacklad take it hard to the wall. He found some space up top. Far side shot. Saved by Keegan's. Gordon Michaud. The senior. Had the space there. It looked like Keegan saw that one. Uh, he's been good. And an A uh, for the Rams has yet to allow a goal yet. With five and a half uh, on the clock. Uh, Peck got kicked out of the draw. So McLaughlin comes in to take it. It was a tie up that ends up all the way back out at in the neutral zone. Shot in by Teddy McElhaney. Uh, Rams are back on it with space. Bouchard across. He's 
Ends up back on his stick. Bouchard again. Stepping up his Bork to try to seal the zone. Covering for him is McLaughlin. Bork takes away on the boards. Peck is in there too. It ends up being Tilton. Aaron get up to the line, but McLaughlin jumped to hold it in. Guards McLaughlin. Back to the boards again we go. And again it's a battle along those half boards. Coming through with it is Peck. Goes straight to the goal. And a save is made by Keegan there. Peck again. He's in the middle down low with Bouchard. This line working hard again in the offensive zone. Dahlquist up uh, out off the stick of Sikic. Uh, down, but it's going to be an icing here. And Tilton just getting one change in. Well, there's some tired legs on the ice right now for the Rams, and they're not going to be able to change. After a good, hard working shift. by St. Paul's. And now they end up with an offensive zone face-off. It is won, but the, it won by Tilton, but the Red are on the puck in the corner. Ty Green tied his man up. Dahlquist takes a bump, got it out to center. Now they'll be able to change if the puck is pushed deep, and it is by Weitzman. He goes in hard for it. Jack Hepp up the boards, right in front of the Tilton bench. Taking a whack at it with Ida. It got in behind him, and it's going to be a two-on-one. Up the right side is Sackline, waiting to the net. And the rebound was just not an opportunity. Now again in the slot, hook was loose there, and away will come Tilton the other way. They have a two-on-one now on the right side. Pass turned back, and look at this. It could be another two-on-one. Oh, just knocked away off the stick of Ty Green. Goodness me. Bedlam right now. After the puck got away from the pinching defender, Jacob Ida, and nearly ended up in the back of his net. Uh, another good step up here, and St. Paul's is back into the offensive zone, but they're off side. <laughs> That's a tough call by the officials right there. Offside is the call. It certainly did not look at. Uh, as that could have been another odd man rush for the Pelicans. Wow. It's all going right now. <laughs> Everything's out of the line. With 3.30 to go here in period two. Holding on to this puck uh, is Greenberg before shooting it in. And wait for his teammates to get onside. Big hit in behind the St. Paul's net. Uh, Moretta was on the giving outside and on the puck too. Moretta centered right onto the stick of Sacklad. St. Paul's was all cluttered in the middle of the ice. And that pass from Sacklad did not go. Ends up right back in the defensive zone. McElhaney tipping it off. Demers in back of the goal. Looking to get things set up with 2.50 to go. His team trailing one to nothing. Pass just missed the intended target, James Horn. SPS trying to battle away. Comes back on the stick of Demers again. Shifting gear to the middle, Jake Demers now to the outside after avoiding two checks. He'll loft one in just to the far side of Keegan's crease. Big hit in behind there given by Demers. He could have the puck too. Instead it's centered in front by Sacklad. I don't think anyone realized it was coming. It'll just bounce back out to center ice. Since that Cam Ryan goal, SPS, I think, has controlled much of the puck. Uh, despite a few shifts by Tilton, it have looked good. Here comes, ooh, big hit there on Michaud after he had the puck at center. Or moved, it, or moved the puck through center himself. Loved it up. Ooh, <laughs> just to my left, just missed me by a few sections of the bleachers. Uh, over the low glass here. And out of play. Did hit, a, did hit a fan as an SBS student in the stands here, but uh, not dangerously, so. Looks to be okay. Yeah. Although, we'll have a faculty member over here to check him out. Uh, as St. Paul's has the puck on the offensive zone. Nifty little moves there by McLaughlin. Bork couldn't control it. McLaughlin again. 
Behind the net, Garth McLaughlin getting a working over there from Greenberg. He takes them into the Zamboni gate. And here's a steal, right in front by Peck, and a blocker save is made. Bork pinching now. Peck, or rather that was McLaughlin, going to go back to Bork. He wasn't in the position. Uh, McLaughlin expected him to be now. Bork gets hauled down. Penalty upcoming here. And is it going to go against you, Rare Bork? No, it's not going to. I thought he might got a hand on the tilt and stick. Instead, it's going to go against uh, number 16 in white, Justin Greenberg. The sophomore from Plantation, Florida. He's off to the box for a trip and potentially a crucial power play here with 1.13 to go in the second period for St. Paul's. If they don't score, it will carry over into period three. Right in front. Oh, driving the net was Sacklad. And a huge stop there by Keegan's. Back to the line, but not out. Held in by Orn. On the far side, Menes. Nice move. Menes shooting right on. And Keegan's has got it in the chest protector. Right on the logo there. He didn't see an inch of that puck. I can guarantee it, he didn't move. He just found it right in his belly. We can say that, right? Right in his belly. And he made the save. Under a minute to play here in period two now as it's taken on by Jostet and thrown down the ice. 50 seconds left to go in period two. As I said, this could be a keystone moment in the game, depending on the outcome of this kill or power play. Coming up ahead is Demare. Is in the offensive zone? Drops it back. Sacklad far side. Here comes a shot, and it's lifted up and out of play. A great block after Menez had another chance to tee one up. Puck went up to the rafters as they're soaring out of play here. Both teams make changes. Another offensive zone opportunity coming up uh, for the Big Red. Uh, trailing one to nothing on the power play. Draws one by Peck. Uh, Simpson now drops it back to the line. Peck again. Drifting on the boards, Peck waiting to the line, Michaud holding on, shoots, blocked aside. I don't even think Waring knew it. St. Paul's holds the puck in, Peck spinning and turning, 11 seconds left. Peck still, he's got to get a shot off, 7 seconds, he set it to the back and front, oh, just high of the goal, and actually wide on the shot, Peck in front again, another huge block by Waring, and it's up and out of play with .2 seconds left on the clock. Everyone was scrambling out of the position. Michaud found the puck on his stick in the high slot and Waring got in front of him. Keegan's looked like he was especially out of position there. Two tenths of a second left to go. Out of the jammer on the face off, that'll do it. Tilton gets the goal, Cam Ryan. This is second of the season, his fourth point overall. That's the difference right now, one nothing Rams uh, as we head to the third and final period of action. Should be a good one. Stick around. 